What's up, at you? For today's video, we're a full 100% boosting moves team. We got a fat video tonight. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is I'm only going to be attacking with moves that have a 100% chance to boost your stat, whether it be attack, speed, or whatever. I'll be using some other status moves along with it, but essentially all the damage I'll be doing is going to be with the boosting moves. There's actually quite a few of them, so I had to make two teams, and it was pretty fun. Most of these battles are going to be doubles, I think, too. Our uh, first battle here, we got a lot of the poker portal. This one is against uh, it was Vex, and we have a Indeedee and Galadely. Now, my first two poker, we got a Sol Galeo and Quack Cravel. So we've got Meteor Beam and Flame Charger, Sol Galeo's boosting moves and sunny day and morning sun i tried to nerf the soul galeo because it, you know it's such a good pokemon so the other one is uh quack quavel which we've got rapid spin and aqua step that's the only pokemon that can get aqua step you know outside of like our other means like smeagol and things like that so we got a galate outspeeding everything and dropping my soul Galeo with one night slash that was max attack and max special attack so Already I'm starting to think there's a good chance that Glade is Choice Bandit. So Aqua Stepping, the uh, Indeedy, uh, it did use Follow Me like it always does in doubles. Uh, did some pretty good damage, so I was happy with that. Next Pokemon is Smeagol. We got Torch Song, Esper Wing as the boosting moves. I thought I'd use Smeagol because it learns all the moves. And we're going to be trying to get rid of this Indeedy. So Glade's obviously going to go for Smeagol here. I've got Sasha on my Smeagol. It is max speed and max special attack. It is a sweeping set. And we've got Quack Quavel trying to get a moxie here this is going to be max speed and max attack sorry no it's not max it's max health and max stack it's like a real bulky quack quavel relying on the speed boost from uh the aqua step and it actually worked really really well on some battles so uh, i'm going to go for an esper wing here so i can that'll allow me to outspeed the Gallade. And that'll also give me some other options, maybe to go for Spore and things like that. So indeed, he's going to go for a Light Screen. That doesn't really change too much. Now they're swapping it out and going into Cresselia. Uh, Cresselia is going to be super thick. And what I'm thinking of here is to try and get maybe one bulk up with Quack Cravel and start using, uh, you know, Aqua Step over and over. Now, it's got the Rocky Helmet. Smeagol's going to be going for a, a Spore here. I need to shut down that Gallade for a couple of turns. It's just, like, way too strong. And I'm going to try and put the Cresselia to sleep as well as I try and set up this uh, Quack Cravel. So, uh, going for a bulk up here, that's going to increase my attack and defense. I've got max health, so I can actually take some hits here, which uh, the opponents uh, weren't uh, always, like, prepared for. So, I've put the Cresselia to sleep, so both both of them are sleeping at the moment and they're having a nice little sleep. If you enjoyed the videos, people, don't forget to drop a like there, people, and uh, tell me what your favorite boosting move of all time is. It, it, it doesn't have to, I guess it doesn't have to be 100%, but um, we're doing 100% uh, chance uh, boosting moves here. So that's going to be the end of the glade there. I dropped it with uh, an Aqua Jet, a plus one, and I'm going to get a Moxie there. So we're going to try and see if we can keep this Quack Cravel going as long as possible. So uh, Smiggle's going to go for a Torch Strong. I'm trying to boost up its special attack. I've also got conversion on there too so Smeagol can convert into a fire type and get fire type stab on Torch Song. Next Pokemon is going to be Espartha. Uh, it's pretty obvious what they're going to do here. Most of the time uh, they're going to use that uh, speed boost set so if I was them I'd probably try and go for a protect to get my speed boost up so I could outspeed some of these Pokemon so what I'm going to be doing instead of attacking the Espartha and wasting my turn is to go for the Cresselia. So we're going to go for Aquacept on Cresselia. I am going to take some Rocky Helmet damage but that did really Really good damage. So it's in range to take out the next turn. Uh, Smiggle this turn, I went for Esper Wing. I didn't want to faint the Cresselia because I actually was trying to go for a Quack Quavel sweep as well. So plus two in speed for Smiggle now and plus one in special attack. Cresselia has woken up and targeted my Quack Quavel with a Thunderbolt, but since I'm running max health, I'm actually quite bulky. Light screen's gone. Not that it really matters too much. Smiggle really wasn't hitting too hard anyway. Now they're going to be swapping out Cresselia and going back into Indeedee. To, for me, the result is virtually the same. I think they're trying to set up the psychic terrain for their Aspartha. But the bad thing about that is, since my Smeagol is on one health, right, it's going to be uh, immune to any of those priority moves. That sort of suits me fine. So getting out of the Moxie from the uh, Indeedy there, I went for a Spore and put the Aspartha to sleep because I know that I can outspeed it. So that thing is asleep, so they won't be able to try and go for their little stored power, uh, you know, standard sort of set there. So that's sleeping, which is good. Uh, another speed boost for Aspartha doesn't matter because all of my attacks are boosting my speed. Next Pokemon we got is uh, Necrozma. Uh, this thing is a little bit of a worry, but I'm going to put that to sleep to begin with. So that's going to drop the Aspartha. 
Sparta, so that's another Pokemon down. Three Pokemon down, three Moxies, and so that's like plus four in attack now from the uh, the, the bulk up. And Necrozma is going to be to sleep. So what I'm thinking here, if uh, the Necrozma, right, um, stays asleep, I can probably break its ability with Smeargle using any move and then go for an Aqua Step and drop it, right? However, they're going to swap that out and go back into Cresselia. It's like, okay. Okay, that's fine. They went for protection here on the Hatterene. Now, I was a little bit worried that Hatterene might try and come in on the spores of Smeagol. Uh, that's why I was a little bit tentative to do it at the start, but, you know, uh, they brought in a little bit later. At this stage, I had so many boosts up with Aqua Step, it didn't really matter all that much. So, I went for Torch Song on the Cresselia, boosted my attack up there for free, and now they're going to go for a Terra. I was like, all right, it's going to be Terra Hatterene, right? But they went for Terra Cresselia, which only had like a little bit of health left. So this one is going to be Terra Electric, which is a good Terra for Cresselia. It makes sense. It's got Levitate, so it's only, uh, you know, weak, weak to like no moves. Super effective. And I just targeted Hatterene, right? Because I knew that was the one going to do the damage. So they're clearly going to be going for a Thunderbolt. And uh, I went for Spore again, because uh, that's going to put the Cresselia to sleep. So Cresselia is staying asleep at the moment. Pretty much my combo with uh, Sporing the uh, the other Pokemon and uh, Quack Quavel putting the, you know, putting the herd on it with the Aqua Step is working very nicely. I can easily finish this battle off now, get the full Quack Quavel Sweep. I can finish off Necrozma and uh, get this W right. So we're going for my moves here, Aqua Step and the Cancel Battle. But anyway, I got to show you the Quack Quavel and Smeagol combination uh, sweep there. So I hope you enjoy that. I don't actually know if I've done a Quack Quavel Sweep on my channel before. Maybe, maybe I actually have to check if a real like uh, your avid pin my view would know that. Have I done a Quack Quavel Sweep? I don't know. If you like the first battle, make sure to drop a like, people. Let's get into battle two. I've got seven battles tonight in today's video. I really want to spoil you all with some content, so I hope you like that. And uh, let's get into this one. So we've got a Tatsugiri and Don Dozo combination here. Now, the only way that the moves order up works, it's a Don Dozo move, is to have a Tatsugiri jump inside of its mouth and have the commander ability to activate. So I'm going to get a double Omni boost here of Don Dozo. It's a you know, very, very strong move. I only have order up as a boosting move here that's 100%, so I can only work with that. So I thought, since I've only got order up and that's a dragon type move, I might as well have Terra Dragon with Don Dozo and see what I can do. So every time you use the move um, order up, you get a uh, plus one in attack. The other moves I had on there were Soak, so if the opponent was a Fairy type, I could go for, you know, the Soak and turn them into a Water type, or, you know, something that resisted it, uh, of course. So, we've got the opponent having an Executor and Nine Tiles leader, and we've got the Nine Tiles going for a Terra Water. Now, I was thinking the best thing to probably aim for would be Nine Tiles. We've got a Chlorophyll Executor outspeeding me in the sun there, which isn't too much of a surprise to me. This Don Dozo, let me just bring up its stats. I tried to make a really speedy one, so this was max speed. Jolly Nature and Max Attacks. So it was like a pure sweeping one. So go for order up on the Nine Tails. Uh, that's a little bit of sushi for Nine Tails too. And that's going to faint. What is your favorite sushi? I think I've said mine before. It is chi chicken teriyaki. Or that salmon one. It's like this, this salmon one. It's got this like... It's like a, a dark sauce that goes on the top. It's pretty nice. Next Pokemon's going to be Goldock. So obviously it's a team based around the sun. Uh, we've got the Executive going for Solar Web. So... Clearly, this doesn't really have a lot to hit me with at all. Um, I think they tried to aim for Tatsugiri that turn. Obviously, um, if you didn't know, when you got the Tatsugiri inside the Don Dozo, Tatsugiri cannot do anything. Like, it's virtually... It can't pick any moves. It just resides inside of it. It can be aimed as a target, but it won't affect it at all. So that's going to be the end of the gold. I'm sort of ignoring the Executor at the moment because it's not really doing too much. It's only firing off solar beams. And uh, eventually, that sun's going to run out. And it's not really, it's like a seven hit KO with Solar Beam, right? Plus, Don Dozo is extremely bulky, so I'm not really too worried at the moment. So, go for Dodrio with the uh, the order up, and Dodrio actually has a Focus Sash. So, like, all right, uh, this is probably going to, like, on a Brave Bird or a Terror, you know, a Flying or something like that. Uh, getting another attack boost, and they pop the Sword Dance. So, they are, ah, okay. I guess they figured that they'd be able to outspeed me. You know, usually Don Dozo isn't the fastest Pokemon with, you know, plus two. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty fast. So, uh, we got the, another Solo in there, Solo Beam number four from Executor. Not really doing too much damage here. I would say the uh, strategy with the uh, Dodger is probably something like, I don't know, Focus Ash Acrobatics or something, something along those lines. And that's going to uh, take out, I mean, each Dodger got to eat a sushi then, right? So that's the end of that. Uh, now, this turn, interesting enough, uh, we've got the Gengar coming in. So we've got four, uh, sorry, three Pokemon down to the Don Dozo. Uh, we've got an Air Balloon on top of the Gengar uh, as well. So I can't use any ground type moves. Not that that 
really matters too much with my team. So uh, Executor's going to go for another Solar Beam. One more Solar Beam and I will be down. However, I do have Rest and Chester Berry, so I can actually use that. Now I'm going to go for Gengar because I feel that was more of a threat and Gengar is going to get one shot it and then Curse Body activates. I'm like, no. So that's the end of my Curse, uh, my, my curse Body and... Uh, Order up combination there, or you wreck me. So, next Pokemon is Electivite and Executor. So, I thought, well, this battle's pretty much over, right? I've got such a big lead. Then they use Psyshock. I'm like, I don't know. That would, I mean, I know the Solar Beam's got a much, much higher base power. It's not very effective, though. Um, I don't know how much that would have done compared to Solar Beam. I think it would have been fairly close. So the Reflect is going to get set up there by, I think that was Electivire. And then I brought in uh, Azelf. So Azelf and Tatsuguri. This Tatsuguri this time only had uh, a Soul Vest and Struggle. So <laughs> it didn't have any attacking moves whatsoever. So if you can just see it there beyond the, uh, well, behind or below the check uh, target and check status uh, button. If you struggle in a Pokemon battle, it's actually a glitch on Scarlet and Violet. It'll bring up this second little menu here. And it just won't disappear from the, uh, the battle, I think. Uh, this is a glitch with struggle. Uh, so that's the end of Azelf. I went for a, uh, a trick there. And, uh, sorry, I was like a skill swap. And I gave, um, Executor. I got rid of its chlorophyll and gave Executor Levitate. And that's where bad things, like, started. Like, watch this. Like, it was an absolute disaster. So... This is a parting shot quash or a little taunt set. Electrify is gonna make use of the levitate. I gave it, uh, I gave the executor, and then it's gonna hit me with earthquake. So I'm like, oh no, because my team's actually pretty, like, it's kind of weak to ground. So um, Ele Electrify is actually outspeeding on my team. So that's the end of Tatsuguri, not that it did anything anyway. Uh, more Pekko is gonna go for a parting shot, so dropping the Electrify's attack. I thought that was a good idea considering it was their last two Pokemon, right? So my pekko has got to swap out. I don't have a lot left here. I've got Duralunin. This is like probably the worst Duralunin set ever. It's only got two attacking moves and both of them take two turns to activate because uh, I didn't really want to use a power herb. So we've got the sun finally disappearing and we've got the more pekko. So I don't have Protect or more pekko at all. Uh, I know that's definitely going to faint to Earthquake and they can easily go for Earthquake again. So I was thinking, well, I've got Meteor Beam. I have to go for that Electi uh, Electivire, right? So Electivire is, uh, sorry, Electivire. Man, these, these Electivires and Electibuzzers uh, are going to hit me with Earthquake. More Pekko's going to die there, which sucks. I couldn't go for the Aura Wheel either because it would have had Motor Drive. So, uh, like that turn before. So, Artsaloon is going to get a plus one in Special Attack. Uh, this one is Modest Nature and Max Speed. Executor is sort of chipping away with Giga Drain. And I've got Kingdra as my last Pokemon. So, Kingdra only has one boosting move that's 100% and that's Scale Shot. So, I've got Dragonet, Scale Shot, Focus Energy, and Smoke Screen. A bit nice special here. And I've got King's Rock as the item. So, Electabuzz uh, is just going to keep going. Electivire is going to keep going for Earthquake because it's a simple and easy way to win at this point. And I'm going to go for Meteor Beam on that. And it lives. I was like, dang, that sucks so much. So, Archer Loader is going to bank there and all I've got left is Kingdra so pretty much most of my team apart from Don Dozo did like something oh I mean Archer Luna did one medial beam that was pretty much it right so this turn I went for a dragon there so like all right I can go for Electabuzz here the reflect is gone um and Elect Electivice still outsped me I was like what the heck so it knocked off my King's Rock got a lucky crit as well I went for the scale shot here and took out the Electivice I'm like all right since Electivire got a lucky crit there at the end, I think that uh, uh, um, the Executor is going to be able to take me out here. Like, so we're for Giga Drain and it feigned me. So that's the end of the battle. I guess Don Dozo pretty much was the only Pokemon that did anything. Much just had like such a big lead. But anyway, it was a funny battle. I hope you enjoyed the one. Let's get on to our uh, battle number two. Uh, sorry, number three. Uh, we got a belly. I have no idea what the trainer's, um, trainer's name is. And we have my Don Dozo and Tatsuguri lead again. So the only way to get order up to work is to have this combination. So I thought, uh, we'll try and get this going. So uh, this was like PTSD for the last battle. It was like Electiv uh, Electivite and Gengar. I was like, oh, not again. No way. So it's like, don't give the Electivite Levitate. Oh, wait, don't give the the the, uh, the Gengar Levitate either, right? So I'll go for a Terra, <laughs> a Terra Dragon here. I was like, well, I, I feel like Gengar is possibly going to be the easiest one to fight. 
but I was a little bit worried about going for it due to Cursed Body. You know what happened last battle, right? So I went going for the order up here. I'm going for Gengar, giving it a bit of sushi, and I took out that hack little Gengar. It ate some hack little sushi, right? You had to open up that sushi roll, and inside it was like, I don't know, uh, you know a, a game shark or something. So we, the next Pokemon we've got is going to be uh, Scizor. And I thought, well, Scizor's going to resist my order up. So how about I go for a soak? We're going to soak that pickle. I mean, it, it looks like a pickle, and that was the brine, right? Uh, that's what it looks like. And Electivise is going to go Electivire. Man, I'm going to get roasted so hard for calling Electivire Electivire. Like, the reason I keep messing this up is because I have this Electabuzz uh, at the moment in my um, in my uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon Nuts like I'm doing. And it was such a good Pokemon for my team. And yeah, that, I think that's why I'm messing it up. Then, then, it, then it died. Anyway, uh, we won't talk about that. The next Pokemon is going to be uh, Ursaluna. I'm going to feed it a bit of sushi, but it is going to be able to live that. It's, it's kind of thick, right? So uh, Sis is going to go for a Brick Break. There's not, you know, that's a very little bit of damage there. And they've got Drain Punch. So... They can't really do much damage to me uh, at the moment. Since this does have a flame mob up, I thought, well, that's probably going to do a little bit more damage to me because of it's a you know, guts ability. Scissor will have to set up like a sword dance. Plus, it's already like a water type, so, and it's losing its stab, and I can hit it for neutral. So I thought I'd you know, get rid of that one first before they you know, swapped it out or something. So their entire team, by the way, was like a dot, like, all, like a dot com team. So I was like, man, I'm going to see if I can sweep the Dondos, all right? We're going we're gonna to teach them a lesson, right, to get their own Pokemon. Next Pokemon we've got is Porygon Z, and of course, it's a hack. Porygon Z as well. They, they, they hacked into that computer. Uh, we're going to uh, see if we can get some more order up boost here. Now, with the Porygon Z coming out, I noticed it didn't have download, and I'm thinking, well, it's probably got, like, analytic or something like that. So... I've got Chesto Resto here, and they've got Ice Beam. I knew that I'd go for Ice Beam. That did a pretty good amount of damage, considering. And uh, Headlong Rush did a lot of damage, too. So I'm like, gee, I don't know what I can do here. Like, both of them are possibly going to fight me. So I decided to go for the Ursa Luna and take that out, and hoping that you know, I could barely leave the uh, Ice Beam from Porygon Z. So another attack rise there. It's three Pokemon down so far, going pretty well, and Ice Beam's going to fight me. So that was pretty close. I almost uh, took four Pokemon out on their team. Now, I have done a Don Dozo sweep on my channel. You should check it out if you haven't. It's very interesting. I use a uh, I pretty much use a, a similar strategy, but a little bit more involved. So we're going to ring a Tatsuguri now. Well, Tatsuguri is already in. Now, Tatsuguri, I found out as well after doing this team, actually had Rapid Spin. So I went and I, uh, I gave it a Mirror Herb and did the uh, the picnic with Quack Quavel and gave it Rapid Spin. And that was its 100% boosting move. The other move I gave was Memento, and the uh, item I gave it then was Metronome. So got that Metronome uh, Rapid Spin. So... Things went bad again, right? I got fro my Morpeko got frozen by the Porygon, and I've got this Tatsuguri. I'm spinning around, but I'm really not doing a lot of damage here. So, well, look at Morpeko. It's frozen. It didn't even move. So, his facial expression, like, it stayed the same because it was frozen. And uh, now Electivire's going to go for a uh, Volt Switch on Tatsuguri. That's not going to take it out. However, we're going to swap out. Uh, the last Pokemon is going to be a Slowpoke Gala. I was like, what is this? So, I'm uh, thinking it's probably Everlighted. If I can, maybe can use Azelf and get the Everlight. Last time I used Trick with Azelf, it was... Like, things happen, right? I think bad things happen. So, Morpeko's got a fake there. It was frozen. It was letting it go. And uh, we're going to bring Azelf. Now, Azelf's got the 100% uh, uh, attacking move. Obviously, this is from the uh, the Legends game. And this is... Uh, let me bring this up. This is Magical... Uh, magical power, right? Ma uh, mystical power, not, my not magical. Mystical power, 100% boosts your special attack. So I thought, all right, we'll get rid of the Everlight on the uh, on the Slowpoke. I'll give it a ring target. It's ring target, mystical power. And uh, guess what it had? It had a king drop. The homie was trying to evolve it in this battle, right? They're like, if you know, if a Slowpoke wins, it'll evolve, right? So uh, Porygon's going to have uh, foul play, which kind of sucks. And then I got roasted by the Slowpoke, and instantly Azelf was dead. So like... This is bad, you know? Like, this is like the last battle. The, the thing I found about this team, right? Like, mo considering most of the memes outside of, like, uh, Don Dozo, even that was a meme too. It only had one attacking move, or one type of attacking move. Like, after that, it was, like, it didn't take much to fight more Peko and Azov, right? So, bringing in Kingdra and Archaluda here at the same time, uh, Porygon is going to be spamming Ice Beam. I guess they're going to try and go for a freeze and stuff. I'm going to uh, focus my energy, and uh, we're going to try and get some boost here. So, let me explain these sets as well. So, the Archaluda was a stalwart set. Scott with scope lens as the item, and we had special attack and uh, max speed. So, Tim and Nature are the Kingdra wasn't actually a focused energy set. It was a King's Rock set. So uh, Porygon's going to unload a Psybeam. Psybeam, that's interesting. And uh, this turn, 
there was like there was a, this this it was this turn right like this it was unbelievable. So uh, focus miss is gonna miss again. Thank goodness because that would have done a lot of damage to Archer. Let it, I went for meteor beam here. Like I'm, I'm boosting up this. No, it was the next turn. The next turn was crazy, right? So I got a special attack boost. I'm going for that um elect uh, electivire right, and I got that one right. And I'm gonna get paralyzed by Porygon Z. So my Kingdra is now paralyzed. So that's not really that much of a, a worry. I could go for scale shot and boost up my speed. The thing was, I was hoping to get critical hits on that. On that, I had a 50% chance to you know, actually get them. And also, I'd boost up my speed too. So I got two crits in a row. Unfortunately, Parangon Z did not get hit by a fourth time. So I was like, man, that really sucks. So getting a speed boost here. Uh, we got the focus miss missing. Archelot didn't go for a Meteor Beam. That one misses. Uh, Porygon, uh, this goes for a Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave misses. I was like, what? And then I went for I went for the uh, Skull Shot and I land my attack. I was like, holy smokes. That was a crazy turn. Like, Imagine if all four of those moves missed. So that was good, right? So I dodged two focus misses on Archelot. I got a Speed Boost. Electivire is the last Pokemon. I don't want to lose this Pokemon again. Uh, Kingdra is going to take a fat amount of damage. I'm going to unload a Meteor Beam here on the next turn. There is two Pokemon. Left. So they can't attack both unless they got something like, I don't know, Discharge. Uh, I got paralyzed this turn, which really, really sucks. So that turn I couldn't do anything. Electivite's got to hit my Kingdra with another Thunderbolt, and that's going to faint us. Like, please do not miss Meteor Beam. I need this. So go for that Meteor Beam. It is going to land on Electivire, and that is going to send it out of this battle. And that is the end of the third battle. Crazy game there in the end. Uh, let's get on to battle, uh, battle four here. So many battles today. Uh, next battle here, this one is against K-Cat. Uh, Garchomp looks like it was sitting on the toilet or something. Uh, so we got a uh, Ting Lu and a, uh, a Kyogre lead here. So this team was, uh, this team was like really sweaty as well. So I was thinking, I don't know how well I'm going to do against this team, you know? Like these are like mostly memes. So Quack Quavel's going to leave our uh, Kyogre's Thunder because it's max health, which is pretty cool. And I went for the Spore and put our uh, Kyogre to sleep, which is good. I need to somehow get around that. Uh, so it is sleeping at the moment. I went for Rapid Spin. Uh, I don't know why I actually went for Rapid Spin, to be honest. Uh, trying to, I was trying to boost my speed. I have no idea why I did that for. I should have gone for Aqua Step. But anyway, it happened. So I'm getting hit by Ruination uh, on from the Tinglu. I went for Aqua Step on Tinglu. Good damage. I'm happy with that. Uh, now, with this Smeagol, I thought I might be able to get some spores going and put them both to sleep like the first battle and see if we can get another Quack Quavel sweep. It was doubtful, though, because there were... I mean, I had to rely on at least one Pokemon staying asleep while Quack Quavel would sort of deal with the other Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, that, that was the plan anyway. Whether or not they would wake up or not would be another, you know, another thing. Is that a, uh, is that a Korean Tinglu? And that's a Korean Kyogre and Tinglu, isn't it? Because that's, like, different characters. I recognize that. Uh, anyway, Tinglu is going to wait. No, not Tinglu. Tinglu ain't losing Orange Repulse. Uh, Kyogre's going to use Orange Repulse and faint both of us. So, you know, there's always a risk that that happens. So... Now we're in a lot of trouble here. I was like, what am I going to do against this? Like, what can I, how can I get back into this game? So Tinglu was fast asleep still, which I guess is something. So I thought, you know, I bring an Archer and I was like, we can use um, Archer Luden's uh, move, Electroshock, because that actively, uh, you know, activates in the rain right away. So I don't need to wait that extra turn, which is really good. So I outspeed the Kyogre, which is pretty cool. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to be aiming for Kyogre to take it out. So I thought this is going to be really good. I might be able to bury like, a couple of Pokemon with this to get my, uh, my myself back into the game. Uh, next Pokemon is going to be Wired here. And this set has got uh, Psy Shield Bash, which increases your defense by one stage, and Trailblaze, which increases your speed by one stage. I looked over all these moves. I'm pretty sure I never left the move out. So if you can think of a move that I left out, hopefully, I really hope that I didn't leave a move out but and that I got all of them. And when I say a move, I mean one that 100% gives you a, uh, a stat boost, right? Uh, anyway, that is going to be the end of the Ting Lu, uh, thanks to a couple of uh, Trailblazers from Wydea. Uh, this is max health and max attack at Adam and Nature. So I was kind of relying on Trailblaze to fix my speed. The other moves I had on there were Gravity and Hypnosis, you know, so I could go for that Gravity, that would make Psy Shield Bash 100% and also increase the uh, accuracy of Hypnosis, which was, uh, you know, pretty shaky, uh, pretty shaky, uh, you know, uh, to be uh, to be honest. So my item was also uh, Rocky Helmet and ability was going to be Sap Zipper. So I was thinking maybe Ogre Pond will, uh, you know, attack me and give me a, you know, attack boost. That'd be really cool. So I got rid of the Bax Caliber. He used Bite, which is, uh, which is kind of weird. I don't know why. Maybe it was like a flinging set. And then Ogre Pond is going to be, uh, it's going to be sleeping. Next Pokemon we got is Guard Trump. Now they're going to go 
for a little Timmy Terra because I'm sort of I've sort of caught up to them now in uh, in terms of Pokemon that are fainted, and we've got a Terra Garchomp. So Terra uh, Terra Dragon Garchomp. So I'd say it's got like. I don't know, Dragon Claw or Terror Blast or something like that. Uh, so I'm going to go for Hypnosis on the wide here. That is going to uh, put the Garchomp to sleep, which is really cool. So that, that's actually working very nicely. I got, I got pretty lucky landing those Hypnosis. So now that's going to allow me a large Luden to actually get those boosts up. The only bad thing is I'm, I'm wasting a lot of time here because I'm, I'm boosting up a move. I've got to waste another turn. If I had like a move that was a hunt going, that was activating like right now, it would be so much better. But, you know, that was the challenge of this team, right? So Garchomp is sleeping. I went for Psy Shield Batch. Good damage on the Okapon. Defensive boost is going to help out too. I uh, guess like a, a you know, powerful move. And I went for Meteor Beam and I targeted that Okapon and took it out. So maybe I should have gone for Garchomp that turn to get a... Uh to get a grass move, maybe they would have targeted me, but maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they would have known that. So anyway, uh, Gartrop does have Bulldoze, unfortunately. That is going to crit my wide here, which absolutely mattered for sure. And that's going to not do a lot of damage to Archer Luden. So that's the end of that. Next Pokemon is going to be Seraledge. I was like, oh, I don't know what I can do to Seraledge. This is going to be bad. I, I'm going to have to hit that with a Meteor Beam. So I've got Azelf, and I thought, well, with Azelf, I've got Terra Psychic. I can go for Terra Psychic uh, Mystical Power, and that'll do a lot of damage too. Like, and I'll also get a plus one and special attack, and this, this should do heaps, right? So we're gonna Terra that as off. I've gone for Mystical Power and a miss. I'm like, come on, are you serious? So they got off scot free there, didn't take any damage at all, and I wasted my Terra because I got KO'd by Shadow Claws. That was a very, very unlucky turn there. Like, that would definitely sort of uh, turn the tide of the battle there in their favor once again. Not that they had to work for that, but they just they were just lucky, right? So I got a special attack there on my uh, on my Meteor Beam, and then I brought in Sol Galeo. This Sol Galeo is pretty much trash, so I thought maybe I can get a Meteor Beam here because I've got Power Herb. So I'm going to hit by the, uh, the, there's a Fire Fang. That's a three-hit KO. I'm going to go for Meteor Beam like, right away, just getting some damage here. And I have to get rid of that Serilage because I know that it's going to go for me for like, you know, Bitter Blade or something like that. Uh, so going for Meteor Beam, hoping that I don't get any more bad luck and miss. Uh, Power Herb's going to activate it and it lands on the uh, the Garchomp. I, turned, I decided to go for the Garchomp in the end because I thought that was more of a threat. And I lift that Shadow Claw, and Meteor Beam is going to take out the Serilage. That's good. You know, there's only one more Pokemon left, uh, which, of course, is the Garchomp. The only bad thing is both of my Pokemon are weak to Bulldoze, which Garchomp can easily go for and take out my uh, Archer Luda. And since Sol Galeo only has, like, what, what I have, only one... Uh, I've got Flame Charge and Meteor Beam, the Garchomp... Once again, they were just lucky that I didn't have a move. Uh, they could, you know, take them out right away. So, uh, that's the end of Sol Galeo. It fainted, but it, it's cool. I was happy with how that team went. They were, they were very, very lucky there. They got a critical hit, uh, the, where well, they got a critical hit there. Then they got an Azolf miss, and then Sol Galeo just didn't have a move. Like, even a neutral move would have taken that out. But it's all good. That's part of the challenge, right? Let's get on to battle number five. This is actually a singles battle here. I thought I'd at least slip one of them, uh, slip, like, one of them in. Uh, this is the battle against, uh, Liam, and we have a Glalie lead. I always like Shining Glade. It looks cool. Even though it doesn't really, you know, change all that much. So, more Peko's going to go for Aurorill. I always like Aurorill. I think it's a really, really cool move. And how it also changed type as well. It's very, very unique. Uh, so, since I'm in my Hangry mode now, I'm going to be changing. And I'm going to be using a Dark type Aurorill now too. So, it starts with Electric type and then turns to a Dark type, which is cool. Gives you actually a little bit of extra coverage too. It's also not bad against, like, Psychic Pokemon. Uh, so we're going to change again there, eat a little berry, and we're going to change back. Our next Pokemon's going to be Psychazar. Now, this Pokemon was a thorn in my side the entire battle. So I swapped out more Peko. I have no idea what Ivan is, and I brought in Tatsugiri. I want to see what it's going to do. So Tatsugiri got hit, like, super hard by Breaking Swipe. I was max uh, max speed and uh, max attack, but it outsped me there. There wasn't much I could really do. So Tatsugiri got sacrificed. Not that it really matters at all. His main purpose there was for Don Dozo. So this time I thought I'd use Don Dozo in singles. I'm not going to get my 100% order up boost, but I still thought I'd give it a go in singles and you know, see how it do. Like, actually, I do. So they're going to use a Shed Tail and go into Luxio. Luxio's got a nice shine. It's nice and gold. So I thought, this thing is most definitely probably in an Everlight set. It's very bulky. So I need to, uh, I need to break that sub -ally. So I'm going to try and feed it some sushi. Also, if you notice with the sushi... Did you notice when uh, when you don't have Tatsugiri inside of inside of you, it won't have the Tatsugiri sushi. It'll just have like plain sushi. It looks like I don't know, like salmon or something like that. That's kind of what it looks like. So getting hit by a thunder wave from the uh, from the Lux Luxio is you know is always nice. So I've got Chesto Berry and I've got Rest. So I thought 
You know what? I'll use rest a little bit later on. I'll save Don Dozer. I feel like I'm going to need it. So now the uh, this is going to set up a light screen, Luxio, and this is going to be really bulky. So I thought um, I need to get some crits happening. So I've got focus energy and I've got uh, that. And then they use raw. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I, just can't, I can't get any moves happening at the moment. So I've got to, I've got to try and do that afterwards. So I brought in Azelf. Now Azelf uh, does have mystical power. So I thought, first things first, let's go for trick. I'm going to get rid of this Everlight. And I'm going to give them a ring target, right? Not that ring target really matters at all. If you don't know what a ring target is, basically, uh, when you're holding that item, your type immunity is gone. So, for example, um, I give a ring target to a ghost type, and I bring a, uh, a Pokemon in with a fighting type move, and I use a fighting type move on it, and it can, it can affect it, right? That's what ring target does. So, ring target's one of my favorite items of all time. It's really niche and interesting. So, uh, we got Volt Switch on Luxio. It's going to be Volt Switching out. Uh, I, I couldn't really do too much there with Azelf, and then they brought in a Grumpig. I'm like, man, Grumpig's going to be able to live my attacks all day. Plus, I was getting paralyzed a lot too, so there wasn't like much I could do. So, Grumpig's going to be increasing its speed with Drow Blaze. Not that it's doing you know, very much damage at all. Uh, Light Screen's gone now, so I thought, well, I might be able to get some Mystical Powers up here. Let's see what happens. So, another crit. Uh, was that a second crit? It didn't really matter. I wasn't doing much anyway. And I thought, you know what? I want to see what I and the Grumpig has. So, I'll give Grumpig the Everlight uh, that I stole, and I'll give the uh, you know item to me and see what it has. So, it's got Chesterbury that straight away tells me it's got Rest. And now they're going to go for a Calm Mind. So, they've got Trailblaze, Calm Mind, Rest. And some other move there. I don't really know what it is. I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of psychic move. At this stage, I was getting paralyzed. And I thought, well, I'll, you know what? I'll use Azel for something else. I might be able to make use of it. At this stage, I was thinking, I think they're going to go for Calm Mind again. How about I swap more Peku in, take a risk... And if they do go for Calm Mind, I'll actually transform into a Dark type, right? And that'll give me a super effective move to use against them. Um, and, and, you know, they won't be able to use Psyche against me, right? So if they got a Psyche. So they went for Trailblaze. I'm assuming that's the only move they could do there because my typing beat them there. And I went for a, uh, I went for my signature move and took them out. So that was a very, very good play there, getting rid of the Grump Pick. Uh, but I do say so myself. So eating another berry there. Actually, quite like the uh, the berry animation. It looks good. Uh, next Pokemon's going to be Score Bunny. I was like, this is probably going to have priority, isn't it? And then he used Quick. And I'm like, yep, I knew that. I knew that was going to happen, but it's fine. It, it's cool. My Beko did its job. Uh, next Pokemon's Kingdra. I thought, well, they may say that they're Luxio again uh, here. And then I could you know, I could go for a Dragon Dance or I could go for a Focus Energy because they've got Intimidate. So they're going to try and drop my attack, which is cool. Um, but I get crits. I can ignore that. So this also has a Snipe. Sniper ability too, so when there's a crit, it's a uh, like extra bonus and damage. It's very, very strong. Uh, you might have seen a Critcher before. That was a, a nickname for Kingdra. Uh, focus, energy, and scope lens. Set. But this one's got King Rock. I tried to try to make it a little bit interesting and different, so I could try and get flinches with it. So getting a speed boost, taking out Luxio. Next Pokemon is going to be Breloom. Uh, it's a shiny Breloom too. It's a shiny Mushroom. Um, you know, I got a good joke for you, right? So um, the other day, right, I was I was trying to get into a car, right? And, uh, you know, I looked at this guy, right? He, he was eating a burger. There was mushrooms and stuff in it, right? And he's like, uh, you know, could you move over? And I'm like, you know, you move over and shuffling the side. And I'm like, I know why. I know why, right? Because there's not mushroom, right? And that, that's the end of the story. So in comes the score bunny. I'm going to go for Scarlet Shots again. Kingdra is absolutely destroying them at the moment. Um, there's only one Pokemon left, and it's Psychaza. Now, remember at the start how I said Psychaza was like... Really annoying. Yeah, this is this is where bad things happen. So uh, in it comes here. I went for Scarlet Shot. It missed. I was like, no, I know that's going to have uh, a Dragon type move. I've already seen it. Breaking Swipe's going to one shot me. Um, if you can remember all the defensive drops that I got. In fact, Scarlet Shot's not only a boosting move, it's also a dropping move too. But it, it benefits you. I'd say it benefits you more than like yeah, uh, uh, the negative, right? So in comes Psychosa. I went for Mystical Power on, and it lived on one health. It's like, come on, man. So I got a special attack boost. I'm going to get paralyzed. Then they went for a rest. I was like, ah, I know I know what ability they've got, right? So they've got rest and they've definitely got shed skin, right? Uh, you wouldn't use rest in that situation unless you thought I was going to like get paralyzed for two turns. So uh, the item is going to be Chester Berry. And they also, they didn't get any help back from when they swapped out. So I knew they didn't have uh, like Regenerator. So I got paralyzed that turn. So virtually they got off scot-free. It didn't take any damage at all. I got a free rest off. So like, all right. I gotta do something here. So first things first, I need to fix my uh, paralysis. I need to get rid of that. Now I knew my opponent would attack me, of course. Uh, they only have one Pokemon left, and I knew they'd go for Terra. Uh, so this is Terra Dragon, which is fine. Um, I've got Terra Dragon on my Don Dozo, so I didn't want to Terra it just yet. 
Uh, plus, they've got Breaking Swipe too, which will drop my attack before I get to attack them. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll go for Restia. Um, I'll get my health back. Not that I wasn't really too much worried about my health. I was more worried about the paralysis, right? And uh, also, I had an attack drop too. So I didn't want to go for order up now. So I've got my health back. I've got my own chest of berry. I'm going to eat that. And I'm full I'm full health now. And I've got no paralysis. So I swapped that out. Then I swapped into Arch Luton. So I thought, well, I'll be able to resist these attacks you know, pretty well. Um, it, look at that. It's like a four or five hit KO. So it's dropping my attacks. So I was like, all right, we'll go for uh, Meteor Beam and uh, take this thing out, yeah? So that's like a five hit KO, as you can see. Unless it's like a crit, a crit came into play or something like that. So uh, go for the Meteor Beam here. I've got one turn of uh, recharge. Here comes another Breaking Swipe. It's like, yep, I can leave one more of these. We're good. I can go for that. And I should be able to take this out because I'm modest nature, right? So go for uh, Meteor Beam on that and he lived on just a little bit of health again i was like man so now i can't attack it because i've got like two boosting uh moves that take two turns to boost up so i'm like oh this stupid cycle so um i was thinking is it gonna try and use rest this turn like what's it gonna do and it just ended up fainting me. So, okay well i've got don dozo left which which is good right uh, so Don is my last Pokemon. I'm definitely going to go for Terra Dragon here so I can get Stab on order up. So I'm going to go for that. Now, Don has got some nice bulk, like defensive bulk. So I was like, I'm pretty confident that I can live this. I reckon, I was thinking like, I reckon Breaking Swipe will probably be around uh, three hit KO mark. Unless, of course, there's like other uh, circumstances like, uh, you know, this thing getting rest or something like that. So it's going to go to sleep here. I was like, that's actually kind of good because I know they don't have Chester Berry anymore. But I was like, it depends how lucky they get with Shed Skin. So it's back to full health. I'm going for order up. I'm max attack. And it lived again. I was like, what? And then they got a Shed Skin. I was like, man, this thing just won't die, right? So now it's going to go for a breaking swipe. That did a really good amount of damage. Uh, Don Dozo is going to be able to take that, though. And I can finally finish it off with the uh, the sushi. And that's it, people. That is the end of the fifth battle. That Psyche, I, I think that was the longest battle I had with this team, actually. And uh, yeah, that, that's the end of the battle. But uh, that... Uh, that's side because I did take quite a few Pokemon out there then. Man, I need a drink. My uh, my voice is getting a little bit hoarse, you know? Mm. I'm having some uh, watermelon G Fuel. If you want to uh, save on your G Fuel, you can uh, use code SALT, get that fat 20% off, and, uh, you know, get salty. All right, we've got another battle here. This one is against uh, Super Bowser, and we have a Minior team. So all the different colors of the, uh, the Minions, almost like the rainbow now. I've actually done this team twice myself. I recently redid this team. So if you like Minior, make sure you uh, check that out. It's really cool doing such a, uh, an old team after a long while. There's one team I cannot wait to do, but I won't be able to do it in Scarlet Violet. It's going to be the Furfru team. So if you don't know, the Furfru is my very, very first Steam team I ever did on my channel when I made that series up. So one day... I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to do the OG theme team. I, I think I've got like 15, uh, 1500 and something like theme teams. That's cr crazy, right? Uh, anyway, we got a Terra Ground mini. It's going to be out for Scorching Sands. This is actually very, very bad for Archer Luden because it, it's not great on the special side. And I also got Burn. The Burn didn't really matter too much because I'm a special, but it did a lot of damage to me. Uh, the other mini is going to set up Stealth Rocks, which is going to be a bit annoying. That's going to get rid of more Peko's uh, Focus Sash. And it's, it's also going to do some extra damage too. So there are uh, the transformation into the, the red one there. And it's going to fake my Archer Luton. Since I, I had like a two-turn attacking move, I, I, I couldn't aim for it right. So that's the end of Archer Luton. It pretty much did nothing. I went for Mystical Power on the blue one. The, th the thing I actually quite like about uh, Minior is um, it's, it keeps its bulk until the end of the turn. So it's good for a sweeping Pokemon. Plus, it can be a physical attacker and a special attacker too. And it's got Shell Smash. I reckon it's a very, very underrated Pokemon. If you don't watch yourself, you're going to get wrecked, basically. Uh, so we've got more Pekka coming in here. So can, I should be able to outspeed this. And it turns out that the uh, Minior was Choice Scarf. It was a Choice Scarf Scorching Sands. I'm like, this is really bad because my team's actually kind of weak to grab, as you got to see in the first battle, right? With that Levitate fiasco, like, <laughs> oh my goodness. So, anyway, we're going to go for Mystical Power here on this, like, I need to get rid of the red one, uh, this red Minior. Like, I was doing this uh, challenge on my um, Nuzlocke series, right? I had to capture all the Minions, like, all the colors, and the only, in, in, like, a certain amount of time. And the only one I couldn't get was the stupid red one. So, like, I was like, I need to fight this thing. Our next Pokemon's Minior, I... Uh, what is that's a shiny one what color is it 
It's called, oh wait, it's called Santa Gives. It means Santa Gives Coal. Oh man, that's that's right. Did you know today, like, I just found out, that it's only 100 days to Christmas. I'm not even joking. Like, where has this year gone? It's absolutely crazy, right? Is there a thing? So, uh, as I was going to go for a uh, mystical fire, and uh, it's going to take out a uh, minion. Man, I, I should have uh, taken a selfie before that, you know? So, that's the end of minion. We're taking out two of them. Next Pokemon is Meteor Beam. Meteor Beam, in my opinion, is like the perfect move for Minior. Uh, it, it, uh, it should be like a signature move. So, it's going to get a boost here. It's got, obviously, it's got the power herb as the item. It's not like my Archer It's going to do like a little, uh, it's like almost a barrel roll, and uh, Kingdra's going to take the full load. But it's got some pretty good base box, so it actually is able to live that. So getting up a focus energy here, which is going to be good for my uh, crits. But I was like, man, I think the next Minior is going to fight me. So in comes the Indigo, uh, Indigo Minior. It's, 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 I think it's all of them. And I was going to be confused, and then I hit myself. I was like, no, that's not what I wanted. This is bad, right? Uh, here comes Double Edge from a Minior, and that's obviously going to take Azelf out. Azelf isn't exactly what you call the, you know, the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. Uh, next Pokemon uh, to come out, and I'm thinking, well, I'm going to have to bring in Don Dozer. I'm not going to bring in Tatsuguri because I need that for my doubles combination. So... I really need to get rid of King... I need Kingdra to faint, basically. Uh, which won't be a problem if I go for Scale Shot, you know? So, I'm going for Scale Shot. I got a scummy two turns. Like, man, that really sucks. I wanted, like, five, but... Yeah, that's how it is sometimes. Uh, next Pokemon, Dondoza. I brought this in. I thought, well, at least I can you know, do something here. Uh, I can't really do a lot to it, though. I've got, like, Soak and Yawn, and those sort of things are kind of useless at this point in the game. So I'm going for the uh, I'm going for the Coal, the Coal Pokemon. Is any... Okay, serious question, you know, for Christmas and stuff. Have you ever gone to your stocking and got Coal? And if you did, why? I want to know the story. All right, anyway, so Kingdra's going to get dropped by the Double Edge, and, uh, yeah, obviously the crit didn't matter there at all. Uh, next Pokemon is Tatsuguri and the La... Wait, no, there's two more Minior. I'm going for order up here and order up... Yo, it didn't do a lot of damage. So uh, we got the shields down activated at least. But that's not always that good because once the shield down goes, Minior turns like way more speedier and offensive. So this is the Violet one that came out? Yeah. So we're going to bring in that Tatsuguri here. Uh, th this this process takes a little while. Like Tatsuguri jumps into the Dondozo's mouth and like, you know, all, all the all the stat things come up there. I'm not sure if you remember this. Like this is really earlier on in Scarlet and Violet. Every, every time you get a boost right, it will pop up on the screen. So something like this, or, or like Clawf, like every single stat would pop up on the screen like continually. It was pretty funny. I'm not sure if you remember that. Uh, but anyway, we're getting all their boosts there. Dondozo's got his Omni boost. I'm going to go for a, t a Timmy Terra here because I have to because there's only like, there's still three of these little meteors left. And I wanted to get me some of those. Uh, I want to get me some of that juicy uh, order up stab and uh, some attack boost there, right? So hoping Dontozo can uh, clear out the rest of these meteors. I'm going for order up, and uh, well, that meteor is going to be eating some sushi. So that's good. You know, that's very good. There's two more left though. Now uh, this uh, meteor over here, this went for like um, dazzling gleam. So dazzling gleam is going to miss Tatsuguri. Obviously, it's inside of Dontozo. It's going to do very little damage though. Uh, it also had life on. Our next Pokemon, or oh, the last Pokemon on the Minior team, is the Yellow Minior. I was kind of curious what this would be since we've already had a Terra. I went for Order Up, and I took out the other Minior, which is which is good. You know, that's the end of the Violet one. It didn't even get a chance to get like expose its color and stuff. So another attack rise here. I'm sure I can take out the next Minior. This Minior is gonna have Rock Blast. So apparently the last Minior's were both gonna go for Rock Blast, and if they both they both I guess they would have had a chance of getting like ten hits there, but. Uh, since there's only one left and it only landed three times, uh, that's going to fight the Minior. And that's it, people. I hope you enjoyed uh, the next battle. This is battle number six, and that Minior team was uh, was really cool. It was that Minior team was out of this world, right? <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Let's get on to the last battle here. I have no idea what my opponent's name is, uh, but we got a. I think we got a, a Hack Char. I think it's a Hack Charizard and. Um, and Sarah Lidge, I think. All right, we're going to do our Don Dozo thing here again. We're going to get all the all the boosts in the world. Unfortunately, we don't have the rare, shiny, uh, you know, uh, orange Charizard. We just got the normal black one. And uh, we got our Sarah Lidge, yeah. So I thought, who is the most threatening in this combination? I thought, well, I'd say Charizard would be because Don Dozo's base defense is uh, a lot better than the special defense. So I thought, if I go for the Charizard, drop that, I should, I should be able to take Charizard in one shot or get very, very close, you know, with... Uh, you know, with a plus two and attack and uh, stab and everything like that. So, go for order up there. And I actually decided to go for the Serilege. I changed my mind at the last moment, which I probably shouldn't have done, but, you know, that's how it is. So, Charizard's going to go for Hurricane. It lands. Pretty good damage there, considering I got all those boosts. And Serilege is going to go for a Phantom Force. I'm like, that's 
good, I guess. So then went for Aura up against Charizard. I took it out. Uh, once again, people, if you ever get any Pokemon with these, like, .com websites, just toss them in the bin. Uh... Uh, they're just uh, hack Pokemon. I always like to say that there. If anyone gets one, they're like, oh, is this, is this, what's this? Uh, anyway, we've got an Ogapon coming in here. Ogapon is going to be our next target, and I'm going to give some sushi. So Charizard and Ogapon are down. Uh, Serilidge is sort of just hitting away with Phantom Force and not doing a lot of damage. So I thought, what's the point of getting rid of it, right? Leave it on the field doing no damage, and then I can target the Pokemon on the left. And I've also got Rest, too. So here comes a hack little frog here. I'm going to go for the order up, and uh, that frog is going to be eating some sushi. So that's that's three Pokemon down. Charizard, Okapon, and Greninja. Uh, I think the Serilege disappeared into the void of this. Yeah, it did. So it's going to spank me there. It didn't do very much damage. And uh, next Pokemon's going to be Maridon. So Maridon needs to, it needs to go. The only thing that I was worried about here was like a Terra, like maybe Terra Fairy. Apart from that, I was like pretty good. So Maridon's going to get dropped. It's going to get outsped. They went for Terra Blast there. That didn't do anything. And the next Pokemon's going to be Coridon. So Coridon and Maridon. I just went for the um, order up again there on the Coridon. Uh, now they're going to go for a little Timmy Terry. I know they're going to go for Coridon. I was like, well, they're not going to use Serilid, right? And it's just going to be like, you know, the typical uh, Terra fighting Coridon. Now, unfortunately for my opponent... I, uh, yeah, that's not going to save it at all. And Order Up is going to be able to take out the Karada. So some fresh sushi for Karada. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's it. So I can finish the Order Up on the, uh, Sarah Lynch here. Uh, they're going to disappear. I'm going to go for a Disrespect Yawn because this is an easy sweep. And I'm going to finish them off with a Order Up. So, uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, people. If you did, are you still watching right at the end? Let me know in the comment section. Drop a like on the video. I'll catch you tomorrow for some more content. And, uh, yeah. This is a really fun video. So many battles. Peace out, everyone.